Hey guys, what is up? Mackie's Mad Sports here, and welcome back to another video. Today, I'll be going over every trade and who I think won out of that deal. So anyways, guys, let's get straight into it. So starting off with the first trade of the trade period, we have Carl Amon going to Hawthorne as a free agent. Now, Port Adelaide, they got a compensation pick of pick 27. I think the winner of this is Hawthorne. Carl Amon, probably in their top 10 players. Um, going to another club is definitely going to impact their midfield a little bit, but yeah. And moving on to the next trade, it is Bobby Hill from GWS going to Collingwood. Now, Collingwood, they also got pick 40 from GWS, and GWS, they gained pick 43 and a future second round pick. The winner out of this trade is probably Collingwood. Bobby Hill, again, being in GWS is probably top 10 players, um, it will probably affect them as well as the amount of other players that are leaving Gi the Giants. So, moving on to the next trade, we have another GWS trade. Richmond gaining Tim Taranto and GWS gaining pick 12 and 19. Even though GWS got a few high picks in that, I still think the winner is Richmond. Um, they're getting another great midfielder to add to their um, already good midfield. And they are also gaining giant, a Giants top 10. So he might also be in their top 10 now. Now, moving on to the next trade, we have Jaden Hunt going to West Coast. Now, Melbourne, they gained pick 52. And obviously, Eagles, they gained G Jaden Hunt. Melbourne, it was a compensation pick, but I think the winner is West Coast. West Coast really should be looking for younger players, but they've gone with Jaden Hunt who wanted to switch over to a West in team. So, yeah. Now, moving on to the next trade, we have Carlton get, gaining Blake Akers from Fremantle. And Fremantle, they get a future third round pick. I think the winner of this is Carlton. They've got another good midfielder. Um, but I reckon Carlton now, with a few trades going their way, could maybe make the eight as well. So now the next um, trade is Collingwood gaining Daniel McStay and Brisbane gaining pick 35. I think this trade's a little bit even. Um, Collingwood, they're getting their second tall forward um, and Brisbane, they're getting an okay pick because Brisbane are going to try and get Ashcroft in the trading, but it's all got to do with points. So if GWS pick up Ashcroft at pick number one, they can say no, but... Yeah, so the next trade is Liam Jones going to the Bulldogs and Carlton as a compensation pick at pick 49. I think this trade, um, the Dogs definitely win. Liam Jones actually retired, but then he came back and went to the Bulldogs. And Carlton, they're losing one of their key defenders. So now moving on to the next trade, we have St Kilda getting Zane Cording as a free agent and Bulldogs gaining nothing. Um, the Bulldogs got nothing because they got um, Liam Jones as a free agent, which he had actually retired. So the Bulldogs got no compensation pick. So the winner of that is St Kilda. Now, moving on to the next trade, North Melbourne, Griffin Logue and Darcy Tucker and a future third round pick all going North Melbourne's way. While the free man, free man will get a future second, third and fourth round pick. I think the winner of this is North Melbourne. They're getting two players to add to their team and a future pick. But free man will are, they are gaining a future second, third and fourth, which will help them next year with their picks. Now, moving on, Gold Coast gaining Ben Long and a future fourth round pick. And St Kilda just gaining pick 32. Winner of this is definitely Gold Coast. Long, he will definitely add to the Gold Coast side in a defence. And St Kilda losing a good defender who had been growing at the end of the year. So now, moving on, Tom Berry going, uh, going to the other Queensland team from Brisbane. He's going to Gold Coast as well as pick 46 and a future second round pick going to Gold Coast. And Brisbane, they're getting pick 25, 36 and 56. Now, moving on, Fremantle are gaining Josh Corbett from Gold Coast, while Gold Coast, they're only gaining a future fourth-round pick. Um, Fremantle, 
gaining a player, but Gold Coast just getting like a pick 60 or something next year. Um, definitely Fremantle should be winning that trade. So moving on to the next trade, we have Geelong getting Tanner Brown um, and GWS getting pick 18. Um, about even because um, a top 10 pick a few years ago and GWS, they're gaining pick 18, which is definitely, so now they're getting about four top round picks. Now moving on to the second to last trade of this video, GWS are gaining Toby Bedford and Melbourne are gaining pick 44. I think the winner of this is GWS. Um, Bedford not playing many games for the Demons. He wanted a trade and GWS picked him up. So it's definitely a win for GWS here. And now the last trade of the video, Fremantle gaining Luke Jackson as well as pick 44 and pick 67. While Melbourne, they're getting pick 13, a future first and second round pick. Um, I think the winner of this is going to be Fremantle. It gives them an addition to their forward line and um, their ruck. So Luke Jackson might be a ruck and getting rested in the forward line. So that will definitely help out Fremantle's forward and ruck. So anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you enjoyed and like the video. Anyways, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Bye!